everyone, Awesome Kids here, and today we're gonna do some Play-Doh art! Yeah, what are we making? We're gonna make some Play-Doh Rainbow Oreos! Before we begin, let's grab all of our Play-Doh cans. Whoa, just popping out of nowhere! Boom, boom, nice! Okay, so what you need to do is create a stamp like the one I'm holding, grab an actual Oreo and press it down on some white Play-Doh to make it look like this, and that's all you need to make your Oreo cookie. Pretty simple, right? So let's go ahead and make a rainbow colored one first. This one's gonna be the trickiest out of all the other colors we're making, so watch carefully. But don't worry, it's not super difficult. You wanna roll out the Play-Doh into a skinny stick like this red one, and just place it on top of the Oreo stamp. Now let's roll out this orange one, just like we did with the red. And place it right next to it. Perfect! We'll do the same thing for the yellow. Not tricky at all. Let's create the next color, which is green. Now we need some blue Play-Doh. And finally, some purple Play-Doh. Alright, once you have all the Play-Doh colors next to each other side by side, you want to firmly press down on all the Play-Doh colors so that you can get all the details from the Oreo stamp. Okay, then you want to carefully peel off all of the colors. Easiest way to do this is to peel it off from one side, find the side that's more loose and start from there. Nice! And you know you've succeeded if you can see the details of the Oreo cookie, and we have it right here. Now we just need to clean it up a bit. We'll use a Play-Doh knife to cut any of the excess Play-Doh off. Want to see some magic? Duplicate! Whoa! Now that we have the two Oreo cookies, we need to make the filling, which is the good stuff. We'll need some white Play-Doh. And start by rolling it out. Once you do that, if you have a circular mold like this, use it to create a small circle so that it matches the Oreo cookie. If you don't have one, don't sweat it. Just use a Play-Doh knife and try to create a similar size circle. Alright, now let's put the Oreo cookie together. Oh yes, I've been waiting for this! And boom! Here is a rainbow colored Oreo cookie! That looks so good! And it's really pretty! Now let's follow the same steps as before and create some different colored Oreos! Since we know how to do this now, just sit back, relax and enjoy! I'll let you know when I finish making the Oreo! Nice! We just made a red Oreo. Now let's make an orange one.
This orange one is pretty awesome. Okay, fast forward. Let's have some more Oreos pop out. So colorful. Let's take another look at all the Oreos we made today. Here's the rainbow colored one. The red one. The orange one. The yellow Oreo. The green Oreo. We have a blue Oreo right here. A purple Oreo. And we can't forget the original. This one looks so real, I want to take a bite out of it. Get me a glass of milk. Hey everyone, Awesome Kids here, and we're going to do some Play-Doh art. Yes! We'll be making a delicious looking rainbow roll cake today. First, we're going to need cans of Play-Doh. Ooh, they're magically popping out. Now let's have some of the Play-Doh pop out. This is so cool! To begin, grab one of the Play-Dohs, make sure they're rolled up in a ball, and lightly press down with your palm. It should turn into a small circle, and then you're going to need a roller. I'll be using this Play-Doh roller today. And then just roll it out until you get it to this oval-like shape. Perfect! We finished making the red portion of the red roll cake. So let's go ahead and do the exact same thing with this orange Play-Doh. Lightly press down with your palm. Roll it out until you get it to look like an oval shape. And we finished the orange portion. <laughs> this part is pretty simple, right? Yep. Yeah, all right. Well, now that we know how to do this, you guys can just sit back and relax while I finish the last four colors. Okay, now that our last Play-Doh color is finished, it's on to the next part. You want to make sure the Play-Dohs are layered like this. And then grab some sort of flat object so that you can press down on the rainbow layers. Firmly press down so that it flattens out. And once you do that, grab a knife or some sort of sharp object so that you can cut the layered play-doh into a rectangle. Woo! If you're following along at home, here's how it should look right now. Is it just like this? Is it just like this? Okay, let's continue. Now it wouldn't be a roll cake if we didn't roll it, so let's roll this Play-Doh up! And boom! Just like that, we made our delicious rainbow roll cake! Now, remember how we used the knife to cut up some of the excess Play-Doh? Well, we don't have to make that go to waste! Watch what happens when we roll this up. 
This is so awesome! Yup, we rolled this into a pretty rainbow flower. Let's roll up the second one. We'll put these right next to the roll cake. It'll be a nice decoration. Let's take another look at the roll cake we made today. And in just a few seconds, I'll be slicing this up. It's gonna look really cool on the inside. And these are so pretty. I need to look at them one more time. These Play-Doh rainbow flowers are pretty amazing. Do you guys like the roll cake better or the flowers? Yes! Now let's have a slice of this rainbow roll cake. Whoa! The inside of this rainbow roll cake is so much cooler! Hey everyone! Awesome Kids here! And today we're going to be making a delicious Play-Doh chocolate covered rainbow ice cream cone! Once all our Play-Doh cans pop out, we'll get to going! Yes! Okay, let's start by using some red Play-Doh. If you have it shaped into a ball like this, use your palm to flatten it out a bit. And then grab a roller to flatten out the Play-Doh some more. You want to roll it out like this so that you can fit the ice cream shape on top. And then use a Play-Doh knife for something similar to cut away any excess Play-Doh. And if you're wondering, I just used a piece of paper to make my ice cream shape. Now you can remove your sample. And we just made our red ice cream flavor! Now let's do the same thing for the orange Play-Doh. Roll it out. Use our ice cream sample again. Cut around the ice cream shape. And just like that, we made another ice cream flavor! Since we all know how to do this now, sit back and relax while I do the rest of the colors. Finish the yellow one. Time to make the green one. Now let's make the blue. All right, one more to go.
Here's the purple flavored ice cream and it's on to our next step, which is pretty simple. Stack each ice cream color on top of each other. Nice! So our rainbow ice cream filling is finished. It looks good just like this, but we have one final step. We have to make the delicious chocolate covering. So let's roll out this brown play-doh. And you're gonna roll this out a little more than the other ones. Once you get it to look like a pancake, place it on top of the rainbow ice cream and tightly wrap it around. And when you're finished, it's gonna look like you dipped your rainbow ice cream in some chocolate. Don't forget your popsicle stick! Boom! This looks great! We have to do a taste test! You guys thought I was really gonna bite it, huh? Here's how it'll look if you bite down on a chocolate covered rainbow ice cream cone. That looks so cool! This was super simple and super fun to make! Hey everyone! Awesome our kids here! And we're gonna do another do-it-yourself Play-Doh sweet treats today! This time we'll be making a giant rainbow lollipop! Let's have the Play-Doh magically pop out! Woo! Okay, so to begin, I have a red ball of Play-Doh. Let me just roll it out with my hand. You want to roll this out until it looks like this. And let's leave this alone for a bit while we do the same thing with the orange Play-Doh. Alright, you know the drill. Just sit back and relax while I do the rest of these colors. Woof! This is taking too much time, and I want to get to the good stuff. Let's have the other three colors magically appear. Green, blue, and purple. On to the next step. Let's start with this red Play-Doh. So what you want to do is start off with one end, and swirl it around a little bit to make a small circle-like shape. This red portion will be the center, so we won't need too much of it. Use a play knife to cut it right here. And then remove any excess Play-Doh. Now we'll resume making the swirl, but this time we'll use some orange Play-Doh. You only need to swirl it to the cut line I made earlier with the red Play-Doh. Let's fix this up a bit. Okay, now just use the play knife to cut it right here. Pretty simple so far, right? We'll need to keep on following this pattern until we get to the purple Play-Doh. There's the yellow. Finish the green. Now the blue.
and the purple. This lollipop is going to look amazing! Here's our delicious, well, not delicious, because we can't eat it, but pretty looking rainbow lollipop. Alright, just need to do one final step, attach the popsicle stick, do one final check to make sure everything looks good, perfect! What do you guys think? This was very simple and really fun. It looks like one of those lollipops that you would see at a candy shop or an amusement park. I hope you guys give this a try at home. You won't regret it. Hey everyone, Awesome Art Kids here, and today we're going to be doing some more Play-Doh art. Yay! This time we're going to make a Play-Doh Rainbow Swirl ice cream. Once all the Play-Doh magically pops out, we'll begin. Alright, let's grab some red Play-Doh. Let me just roll it out with my palm. Once you get it to look like this, set it aside and move on to the next color. Let's do the same thing with the orange Play-Doh. Now let's move on to the yellow Play-Doh. Okay, let's fast forward the rest. On to the next step. I have a giant ball of light yellow Play-Doh. Now we'll shape this into pretty much the same shape as the smaller Play-Dohs, just a lot thicker. Nice! The next thing we need to do is attach our rainbow colored Play-Dohs onto our giant Play-Doh. Start with the red and be sure to space out each color. Now just squeeze the rainbow colors into the light yellow Play-Doh. Once it looks like this, the next thing to do is roll it out so I'll use my palm again. Once you roll it out like this to look like a rope, grab a play knife and cut both ends. And then let's just start twisting it like this. Now make a little swirl with the rope. Once you roll it out to this rope size, here's our rainbow ice cream. Now it's time to make the ice cream cone. Grab some brown Play-Doh. and roll it into a ball. Then let's shape it into a cone.
Perfect! Since this is a swirl ice cream, let's also add a vanilla swirl to the ice cream cone. We'll need some more of the light yellow Play-Doh. Roll it out with this Minions Roller. Now let's make some thin lines. Alright, let's wrap this around the ice cream cone. Here's our delicious vanilla swirl cone! Now let's add the rainbow ice cream on top. And ta -da! Here is our Play-Doh rainbow swirl ice cream! This is really simple to make, so I hope you guys try this at home.